Right. So, been a week of work at other work. Uh, so I haven't had to spend a lot of time in the shop, but uh, before we left off, got a few projects that, oh, that's cracked. That's okay though. Um, got a few projects that I left sitting. Um, this one I'm most pleased with. I've never used contact cement. Um, and from preliminary tests, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It was working so well. Oh my gosh, that's frustrating. That was that was funny though, because I was. This one seems to be. This one seems to be pretty holding on though. I can sense that it will probably come off though. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not as strong as I thought. It also is a bit cold for it. Although, I am now able to confirm that this place, it's currently 26 degrees outside. I don't know if you can see that. It's 56 degrees in here still. So this place does stay heated, which is wonderful. But it is still a bit cold for contact cement. It also was not a perfect, I've never used it before. So probably not for you, but good to know. I'll think of some other way to attach these. Um, maybe in the form of, hmm. I can't really notch it because I won't be able to get it in really. Because this doesn't have that much flex to it, but it does have some flex to it, which is why I kind of wanted the contact cement because it said it was a, I was told it was a uh, like a very flexible bond, but it's just strong in a certain way, I guess. Um, but really, it's just I mean, you gotta. I I don't want to build something that like I can sit on this fine. It works, so it doesn't need a lot. It just needs something to hold it in. Um, so I think I might just put a notch on the back of it. Yeah, but <laughs> there's a that was funny. I'm glad I got that on camera. Um, this I stain um, with one coat. I think I'm going to stain it once more, get it a bit darker to maybe not quite match, but at least get a bit closer to that. Um, and then I think I will repaint this um, with, I have a black gloss paint um, that I think will work with the piece pretty well. Um, what else have I got? Oh, this has come together. Um, the last finish I did the spray coat it's a bit smoother and I like the I like how there's bits of it's not a perfect it's not it's not perfect and I like that I like that I'm convincing myself that I like that I think that the main focus being this is the point and I think that the imperfections of the rest of the piece melt away when you see that, like I feel, I feel it as the person who's made this. I feel them melt away, and I mean, you're you're going to be the harshest of your own work, or at least I don't know. I think that anybody who's worked their metal is the harshest of their own work. Um, so I think that I'm pleased with that, and I will call that project done, and then I will post it somewhere. Um, if you're interested in buying it, <laughs> um, yeah, I need to work on my website a bit. There's some online work to do, but. Today, we got some new stuff in. Let me just go ahead and adjust the camera. We got some big thick cardboard, which I can see there's some more of this. I might grab it if I can find the place to store it. But I like this. I think that I will make some props out of it since it's a bit sturdier than the standard cardboard. And it's got that thick layer that I'll think will, if I can cut out slices, I think it'll bend well. There's a couple of prop boxes. I want to make something from Fallout. One of the, one of the various uh, accoutrements of the game. So I want to do that. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. What's in here? These are just some boxes I need to break down. My roommate grabbed this, which is a table, which I'm trying to just figure out more about. He did He just grabbed it because it looks pretty nice. Um, and it's still in pretty good shape, although 
it is just a plywood table. Um, which, not the end of the world, not a bad thing. Um, the top's a little gross. I might sand it down and do something with it. Um, gotta be careful with my new chairs. Um, yeah, I think today's gonna be more crafty. Oh, and I have one more project that's not down here that I will go and grab and bring down here. Um, yeah. Got some more thinking to do. I'm also doing laundry. Um, got some more thinking to do on what's next. On what's next. Okay, so I've decided what my projects for the day are going to be. I've got an oak chair where the seat broke. I'll talk about that later. I've got this table, which I want to just take apart and get with my other wood materials. And I want to sort out the organization of this area, which includes taking the wall art and moving it over to where I, above where I store my wood. And I also want to deal with the organization of this area behind you where all of my like long wood, I forget the word for long wood, um, where all my long wood is stored. This back area is constantly getting more and more cluttered. And I think I might even build a few things to deal with that. Um, not sure what exactly yet, but I need something to help keep me organized. Maybe a rack of some sort. But, yeah, organization day. And a little bit of fixing stuff. I also have got the, uh, that's one I can't remember it's on backwards. Um, I've also got this little area here where I have my more finished stuff. Um, and I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move things. I want to sell this. Um trying to get it for some sort of money. I mean, I, I want to make some sort of money on it, but I um, won't make a lot. But I'm trying to get that sold. And there's another table back here that I want to get sold. Um, but, so it goes, I'm going to probably stack this up a bit more to clear off a bit more floor space, first things first. And then we'll get to fixing the chair, maybe doing a little cardboard project. And this other chair that I have, finishing some of the stain work and other the odds and ends on some little projects. But, let me find a better angle for a time lapse and we'll get going. out. I'm going to cut this piece and I'm going to make a, another divider for my little milk crates at the bottom there. thought about doing, who actually. Huh. You know, I literally just had an idea. Because most of what I have is under two feet. Because that's the length of a typical... Um, the wood that they make for bread frames and stuff. Um, this thing I have is taller than that, so if I had a few pieces, I could make like an actual little rack. That's a bit more of a project than I was planning out. One o'clock. Well, I'm gonna make it in such a way that I can add, easily add a second level, I think is what I'm gonna do. So really I'm just gonna screw milk crates to the bottom of the thing, but I got a piece of wood. But, future project is I'll make it layered up, which is why I'm using this old tabletop that was, and it's shitty wood. Um, but yeah, we'll get it done.
feeling much better about my organizational situation. Um, last time I did a video and I was in the shop, I did not clean up. So naturally I have to pay the price by losing a lot of work hours today, cleaning up. And I'll probably, and that, but I'll remember to clean up tonight because I know if I leave my shop messy, I, my mind is messy too. Um, but this chair, old oak chair, I fixed it up. The back was broken. I decided to put a uh, replacement part in, um, stained, finished, what have you. But I also repaired it. And it's got a big old crack in the seat. I'll show you some close-ups of it in a bit. Um, and part of the issue is, I think, the actual mechanism by which it rotates and swivels. Um, it has a broken piece, has been poorly repaired. Um, I'm going to have to buy some hardware or find some hardware for it. Um, so that's just kind of a pain. This is going to be my new office desk chair. Um, so now I'm kind of sitting on a not swivel chair. I guess I could bring my other swivel chair back up. But however, do I'm going to take this back apart because I have to re glue this seam regardless of what else I do. And then I'll also figure out something to do. I might put a, another an additional plate of wood underneath it as opposed to fixing it the way I should do it. Um, because I don't want to buy hardware. I also don't know where I'm going to find that hardware. Or at least as a temporary fix. That's what I'll tell myself. It's a temporary fix until I get another thing. Um, but for also in the time lapse that you're about to see probably, I'm just going to put another coat of stain on this. Um, just for the kick of it. Um, other projects, I've got this piece of wood to cut to make flats for the back of that. Right, so as you may or may not have seen, we clamped and glued that together again. Got some stronger clamps. Last time it sort of fell apart halfway through because um, I was using weaker clamps, but that should glue up fine. I will cut this board to be the support platform temporarily. Um, I, will, I could use a thicker board, but it just barely fits under the desk that I built. So I really would much rather use a thin board so that's just to keep the pressure a bit more even not so it's not on these one these single points seem to be really helping tear the thing apart um, but I got to go to the hardware store and find a thicker one of these another part of the problem is that this is wobbling and I need a 3 8 this is a half inch all that sort of mechanical stuff coming back at me <laughs> war flashbacks to being a mechanic anyway see ya I'm back with not quite the right thing, but it will at least teach me something. Like it is the right size, so that person put in the wrong size bolt, which caused the chair to wobble, which means that this should at least wobble less than the other one. And that does not mean it won't wobble at all because it's a fully threaded bolt, where really what I want is bolt that is not threaded at all. That's probably why they couldn't do it. That's because it's hard to fit this thing through here. Is this boy wobbly and also is under tension. Now how I'm going to do it the right way remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. Okay, so if that's too low, obviously, then we need Something to keep it up higher. Easy, right? So I need something that is going to lift this up while I'm pushing it down. Can I just loosen the tension on this so much that it doesn't even matter anymore? Ah, there it is. We're on our way. 
Actually, it's a good thing I got the threaded one because the not threaded one would have been just too big. What do you heck in now? Blessing in disguise. Okay. Well, I just gotta get this the right height for it to go through this one as well. Like that. Ha 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 ha. Here it is. Amazing. Important. Let's see. Oh, well, I should tighten the screws back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love it when things work. Back to that time lap. Basically, letting this stuff over here dry up. I'm gonna work on that chair thing that did not stay in. And so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a piece that does the opposite on the other side. It'll be a bit blocky, but I think it'll look cool. Gives me a chance to route more stuff, which I love. So I'm gonna make three route cuts on the board that goes on the back. So like, I'm gonna make three cuts gonna make three cuts so I'm sure we can get some light on it nope make three cuts right up so flat flat rounding out that other flat rounding out both corners so it's rounded and has something to cut So, that didn't work. Um, putting this chair together, which I mean, sort of figured there is a reason you don't see a lot of wood seated chairs with a metal frame like that, and you know, why it's always fabric. There's a lot of good reasons for that. A um, whole lot of good reasons for that. Although I did just think of a solution to my problem now. I did just think of a solution to my thing. Wow. That uh, is amazing. I love talking to people. Um, wow. Yeah. That'll work. Huh. So what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say I was just giving up. Um, but I'm not going to now. These things, uh, they aren't perfectly tight around the thing because I did not really check. I'm not super worried about it. But this one was hard because even if I put the back thing on, it still has the likelihood of falling down. But if I put a piece like this to the bottom bracket there, then it will just set in there. I can think of a lot of ways that I can put that together. Which is nice because I was just giving up and resigning myself. Well, I was resigning myself to having the back not be wood. But I think I can now make a thing that'll make that wood. Regardless, I'm done with this tip for today just because I'm out of time. My seat has come together really well. Um, it's much sturdier. It's got a support board on it. It wheels around a lot better. Quite pleased with that. Tomorrow I'll come downstairs and put it back together. Might not even film it. I probably will do a time lapse. Putting it back together, but 
For now, I've got a friend coming over, so I'll say that's done. I'm so glad I thought of that. I need to remember to talk out loud more. This project, as I was finishing, or not finishing, as I was messing with the, uh, when I was painting this, I decided that I do want to sand it back down and fill in the gaps and the holes, because I do think this will actually turn out pretty nice. We're at that awkward point where I'm starting to get a bit more, um, a bit more professional about how I do things, which is frustrating when I start a project like I usually start a project, which is sort of haphazard, and then I get that brain bug of like, oh, no, actually, I could do it better this way, but that's only after I see the half-finished result of not taking it super, not taking it super seriously to get on with. Oh, I'm a bit of a goob, but we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. I think that's it for today though.